Alrighty, it is 1.26 in the morning, and at the moment I have not started writing yet. Um, I'm playing Uncharted. We're still on crushing difficulty. It took me almost two hours to pass the last section of this, so uh, that's great. I'm also working on this still. They look a little dead at the moment. They don't have shading or anything, um, but they've both been outlined. Jensen's hair has been outlined. I don't know if you can see that on camera. You sort of can there a little bit. Um, so, oops. Oh my god. I'm trying to do this. Um, that sort of works. So next I'm going to outline Bo's hair, which is going to be quite wild. Um, and then I'll need to erase Jensen's outline here. Um, but after that, I need to outline Jensen's hand and add his fingernails and knuckle marks. Um, and then from there I can start doing some shading and highlighting. But we might go shopping today depending on how cold it is, but we'll need to get out in the morning hours, so probably when I'm still awake, um, around 8 or 9 or so, uh, because we're supposed to get more snow tonight. Surprising, I know. Um, but this is supposed to go up on my merch store for the rest of February in honor of Valentine's Day, which at this point was two days ago, but I started working on this too late. Um, but the goal is to get it done tonight, or this morning I suppose, so that way I can upload it to my merch store this morning and have it up before we leave the house. So that is the goal, so I'm going to work on this before I move on to writing and hopefully finish this before I move on to writing. But I'm just going to be switching back and forth between this and Uncharted for now, and eventually I'll probably get into research. I would love to finish that um, phase one, I suppose, of um, The Lost City of Z this weekend. I'm technically on phase two. That article is obviously not the original Wikipedia article that I'm reading now, um, but I'm just gonna call it phase one because I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> but the goal is to finish that this weekend, so I'm going to put that second after this is done. But either way, I will see you guys with an update at some point. Alrighty, 8.22 in the morning. Uh, Lost City of Z, I added 821 words. There aren't a lot, <laughs> there isn't a lot left in the uh, article that I'm reading. Like maybe 4,000 words left at this point. So once I wake up, because I'm not going shopping, I don't think, um, I actually might be able to finish this today. So once I wake up, I will give you guys another update. Or once I wake up and get some writing done, then I'll give you another update. Hey guys, it is currently 2.56 in the morning and I have not done any writing yet. My hands needed a break, I needed a break. In general, I've just been taking a break so far. Um, I've laid on the floor in front of the heater for a while because my hands were very, very cold. Um, I believe it's snowing outside and if it's not snowing, it's at least windy outside and working on producing snow at some point. Um, but otherwise, I've just been watching YouTube in slow preparation of forcing myself to get back into writing today. Um, but at the moment I am boiling a pot of water to make food, and once I have said food in here, then I'm going to get back into the research notes. Um, I think there's about 1.6, 1.8, something like that, thousand words left in um, the article that I'm reading for The Lost City of Z. So I'm going to finish that this morning. Um, and then I'll be done with phase one. And before I update you guys again, I think I'm going to film a video on The Lost City of Z. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go into all of the details of what I've personally researched, but I do plan on making it a video about how much work goes into one book, depending on what the book is. Because um, I definitely know there are people who think that writing is just sitting down and typing. Um, and I know for some people it is. I didn't used to research either. Um, but now that I actually care about what I'm producing, it's a lot of work. And with this one, <laughs> because of all that's going to go into it, 
I would like to document it, if nothing else. Um, but after I eat, after I finish this, after I film that, then I will give you guys a word count update and then we'll get into um, one of my other books. I also need to fix something on Ashes in the Light and I can't show you right now because it's on my iPad. Um, but I'll re-email it to myself on my phone so I can show it to you. But it's an issue with the, um, the part headers, the part one, part two thing with that one ghost. Um, although it looked fine on the Word document, once it's exported, part of it's gray and part of it's white at the top, but not like in a way that it blends out. It just looks really awkward. Um, I'll screenshot it, I think, and send it to my phone, and then I'll show it to you uh, sometime after I finish the research here, but I need to fix that um, before tomorrow, <laughs> so we'll get to that as well, and then get back into writing actual books after that, but I'm gonna make food, I'm going to eat, and do research, and then I'll see you guys sometime after that. Alrighty, so I finished the Z notes. I added 1,135 words tonight. Um, that ended up being like 21,400 something, I think, for the actual word count. Yeah, 21,418 words for the total count on Z research. <laughs> Which is a little insane. Um, but the issue that I was talking about for Ashes in the Light, I gotta bring up the picture first. Um, where are you? So the original looks like this once it was put onto my Kindle um, app. There you go. So you can see up here, that's an issue. <laughs> So I went back into Artflow, which is the app that I designed in, and redrew it, or at least redid the outline. Um, and then that one looks okay once it's on a black background, which means that it should be uniform. Um, when it was on a white background, it looked fine regardless. Like, this was what it looked like. There you go. Without, um with the white background and that looks fine and then when you switch it my thumb doesn't go that way when you put a black background on it though there's this issue so I added another layer and that takes it away and then it looks fine like that as well so that's something um, but that part's done I'll have to remake them all on designer and then put the um, part headers back into the book sometime eventually. Um, I'll think I just I think I'll just make note of it and do it after I finish the eighth edit instead, because um, it shouldn't change anything in the formatting process. So that should be okay. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload that to Google Photos so that way I can download it onto the computer eventually and reformat that section of the book and whatnot. Um, but at this point I'm going to get into working on actual book writing, um, I think. Still watching YouTube. Watching one of my favorite gaming YouTubers. <laughs> uh, but working on books in between that. I don't know if I'm gonna work on MOH, Time Stopper, or Rasmussen. Probably MOH or Rasmussen. Um, but either way, I will give you guys at least one more update before I go to sleep. I think writing is going to be slow. My knuckles hurt. It's cold outside, so it's cold-ish in here. Um, and my hands are temperamental. <laughs> they still hurt less than they used to. Um, I think the gloves are doing their job, so that's something. Now I can't wait until I save up for the long-fingered pair of gloves. <laughs> and potentially a new arthritis cream that I want to try, but we'll get there eventually. Um, but I'm gonna get into writing. I imagine it'll be slow, and I'll give you at least one more update before I go to sleep. Alrighty, it is 6.57 in the morning, and I added 337 words to Rasmussen. Um, I would keep working on it, but I'm genuinely just tired of being cold. <laughs> so I went back to my room and turned on my heater and the heating pad, and 
I'm gonna go lay in semi-warm sheets <laughs> um, for the next hour-ish and then go to sleep at 8 and go from there. Um, but once I wake up, I'll work on writing. I don't know what book I'll work on when I wake up, but either way, um, at some point in the afternoon to evening hours, I will give you guys another update. Alrighty, it is 3.26 in the morning and I have written 4,404 words in Untitled Mysteries. I'm actually on my game today, so that's something. Um, I'm going to take a short break here. I'm going to make something to eat, and then I'm going to come back here, probably put on a video game, and edit, um, start editing Ashes in the Light in between gaming. Keeps things balanced, gets me a head start on the day for editing, and we'll go from there. Um, I don't know how much I'll get done. I haven't done the math yet to figure out how many pages a day I need to edit to get it done in a week-ish, um, but I'm going to do that before I start editing and we'll go from there. But if everything works, this is the last edit. If a lot of changes are made in this edit, then there will be another one, but regardless, um, for the sake of this, let's say that number eight is the last edit, so then I would format the ebook which I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do there yet. I don't know if it's going to have the pictures in it or not. Um, we'll see. But you'll know once I decide. And then I need to format the large print book. Um, I need to make the cover for the normal print, the ebook, and the large print. The ebook one is mostly done. Um, I would just need to resize it to ebook size. Um, and then outside of that, there's not a lot left. I need to write the back of the book blurb for it. I still need to start the page on it for KDP so that way I can get the ISBN. Um, but outside of that, if this is the last edit, there aren't a lot more steps to go through. Once the large print book is done, um, I'll need to skim through that to make sure that the formatting's okay and that nothing gets totally screwed up. I'm going to start a brand new document for that and reformat the whole thing, um, which will take a while. <laughs> this one alone took several days, but I think that now I've more or less figured out how to work around some of the problems that Word had with this document, that I should be okay. Um, it had just been a while since I had formatted like an actual document document, and I had never had that many section breaks, so there, were, there was a learning curve <laughs> there for me. But now that I have that down, it should be relatively okay. Um, but we're moving along nicely so far, which is a plus. <laughs> and I'm very excited to put this book out next month and then cut to the kill in June. And hopefully Man of Darkness in October. Um, but I'm going to get into all of that after I eat. And then I will give you guys an update at some point in the morning, whether it be right before I go to sleep or right after I accomplish something or what. Um, but either way, I will update you guys at least one more time before 8 o'clock. Alrighty, it is 5.57 and I have edited the first 35 pages of Ashes in the Light. That is how I am keeping track of this one, so that is all I needed to edit today. Um, I might do more later after I've slept and woken up, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so far, I have only noted one change, and it's to get rid of the word building after Sheriff's Department in one of the first chapters. Um, I've marked it as a suggested change on Google Docs, so that way I can change it there, and later on, I can change it on Microsoft Word as well. Um, altogether, there are 278 pages, which counts the blank pages and all of that as well, um, but it gives a... it gives an idea of what needs to be edited. So, like I said, might do more later on in the day, not 100% sure, um, but regardless, when I wake up, I will get on Microsoft Word, make that one change, and then um, 
highlight the words so that way I can see how many words I edited today so that way I can write that down in my um, daily planner thing but um, I'm gonna game for a little while longer and then turn on the coffee for my mom um, and then I'll probably go back to my room and lay down and just kill time until 8 kind of cold out here that seems to be a running theme recently <laughs> but once I wake up um, I would love to work on MOH, Time Stopper, Rasmussen, and potentially Amelia's book today. Um, but that depends on the characters and how things go later on and all of that thrilling stuff. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But I'm going to get back to gaming for a little while and then I will see you guys at some point um, after I've slept, after I wake up, and after I accomplish something. So progress. <laughs> Alrighty, I decided not to do any more editing on Ashes in the Light today, but I went through and um, deleted the one word in here that I said I was going to, and checked the word count for however many chapters I edited, um, which ended up being 5,211 words. So I'm going to move on to writing in MOH, potentially, see what happens there, and then I will give you guys another update at some point. So it is 1.45 in the morning, and things are going pretty slow so far. Um, MOH is the only one I've worked on, and a lot of these words were written before 1 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's been slow. I think I'm going to take a shower and hope that that maybe clears my head a little bit, um, and then come back and see if I can get into this and get something good to flow, I guess. Um, the characters are talking. I'm just not listening, I guess. Um, and I think I just need to clear my head, and then hopefully things will go smoother after that. Um, I would still love to finish this one before the end of the month. Rasmussen and MOH were the two that I wanted to have done by the end of this month. And then I wanted to hit 40,000 on the Time Stopper, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because... Um, I have nine days left, and I'm going to do my best to focus most of that on MOH in hopes that I'll finish it. Um, I think we're closing in on the end-ish, maybe. Um, 29,891 words at the moment. Maybe? There you go. But, but I don't know. We'll see. So, I'm going to take a shower, and then hope that that helps words flow through better here. Um, if not, I'll move on to some other writing, hope for the best, or editing, or gaming, or something. Um, as per usual, I would like to meet my normal 2,903 word goal here, um, and then I would like to edit at least 35 pages in Ashes in the Light, but either way, um, after my shower, we'll see what happens with MOH, and I will give you guys another update at some point. Alrighty, so I have managed to write another 522 words in MOH, and I would like to keep working on MOH today. I don't want to switch to any other books yet, um, but I just don't, I can't type <laughs> right now. Not because of my hands or anything like that, I just can't. Um, so I think I'm going to work on sketches for a little bit. Um, not sketches for myself. I'm not going to work on book merch or anything like that. I'm going to finally start a sketch for um, my good buddy DM and go from there. <laughs> and then maybe things will go right after that. But right now I'm just not in the mindset for typing, I don't think. Um, but hopefully I can get back into this again sometime before 8. Once I get bored of sketching, maybe I'll turn on a game, game for a while, try and switch between that and writing, 
not 100% sure, but we'll see what happens. I would still love to finish this one before the end of this month, so at the moment that is still the goal, um, not the requirement, because then I would be severely disappointed <laughs> and severely um, hard on myself when I didn't meet it, but it is the goal that I'm still aiming for, so we'll see what happens, but I'm going to sketch for a bit, and then I'll update you guys at some point. Alrighty, so this is the in-progress sketch for DM. Um, one of his book characters is drawing them for Pride Month, so I'm drawing them for Pride Month. <laughs> but this one is a trans man, and he's holding the trans flag, and it goes around like this. It'll probably be for stickers and stuff like that, but proud of it so far. Um, I obviously need to clean up my lines, but now I do that after I do the line art. Um, I usually don't do line art for most of my sketches, but the last sketch I did, I did do line art. Um, and that's what I'm doing for these two, so. I need to finish coloring, I need to do shading, and then, I, and then I'll clean up um, all the lines and stuff. But it's officially closing in on 6.30 here, so I'm going to save this and attempt to get some more writing done in MOH. I don't know how that's going to go, but we will see. Um, and then I'll go back to my room sometime after 7 and go to sleep at 8. Hopefully wake up at 2.30 <laughs> and see what happens from there. Um, once I wake up, I'll probably be working primarily on editing. Um, oops. Until I get through the next 35 or so pages of Ashes and the Light, and then I will move back to writing. Um, hopefully in MOH, but if nothing comes of that, um, I'll move on to the Time Stopper. But we'll see what happens. Uh... So I'm going to go turn on the coffee maker for my mom, and then get into some more writing. Alrighty, so now that I am finally done dealing with animals and moving all of my stuff back here, um, it is 5.17pm. This morning before I went to sleep, I didn't write much more in uh, MOH. I tried, but it just wasn't working. Uh, I wrote so little, in fact, that I didn't even record it in my writing app yet, so I'll do that later today. Um, but I'm going to open up Ashes in the Light and do some editing, get my 35 pages in, and then after that, um, I think I'm going to edit another video for YouTube, and then hopefully move on to writing after that, and hope that things go a little smoother than this morning. Um, I'm going to start with MOH, but if things don't go well there, I'll either move on to Amelia's book or The Time Stopper, depending on what's happening. Or maybe even Untitled Mysteries, if um, any idea for a scene comes through. I would still like to hit 50,000 on that. <laughs> I think it's 50,000 uh, this month, which at the beginning of the month wasn't a crazy goal, but now it kind of is, so we'll see what happens there. Um, but that's the main plan, um, editing, editing a video, writing. I think one of the TV shows that I watch normally today is new, so that tends to slow down progress once that happens, but there might be something on at 7, and if not 7, it comes on at like 8 or 9. I honestly don't know unless I'm looking at my alarms. I have no idea what time things are on unless my alarm goes off. But I'm going to start with editing and go from there, see what happens. Um, hopefully editing goes relatively smoothly. I haven't had to make a lot of changes on Ashes in the Light yet, and I hope that it continues to go that way, but obviously we will see. Um, I'm going to do at least 35 pages, but might do a little bit more just to put myself ahead um, in case any interruptions occur sometime after that. Um, but then I will give you guys a page and a word count update, um, once I actually get there. Alrighty, so it is 9.39 p.m. and I'm still working on Ashes in the Light. All of my shows started at 7, so I've been watching them since then. Um, but I've been going through and fixing this issue. 
space here, space here, even though that's not the end of the chapter. Um, I think I found out how to fix it, but my show is actually on, so I'll talk more about that eventually, whether it be in this video or one of my formatting videos or what. But eventually I will discuss what fixes that, or at least this time around. 